A floppy disk. <laughs> All right, your next project is Lab 4 by Steganography. Okay. Um, you're going to be doing exactly what we did when we talked about Steganography. You're going to be downloading stuff. Oh, there's the, let's my a little bit. Okay. You go to the scene to investigate a website. Suspicious information is thought to be hidden somewhere in the website. You will need stake to text, stake break, JPSH win, hex workshop, and WGET. I tell you where you can get WGET from, even though it is on the D2L page. Okay? Assignment. Individual do it yourself. Everyone must solve the lab on your own. This is not the lab from last year. Darn the bad luck. Uh, the way the lab worked last year was it was the animal planet. I had five galleries with about 4,000 pictures, <laughs> but none of them had anything in it. The very main page, the logo on the main page was the only thing you needed. And I said, if you do it right, you can solve it in five minutes. I mean, if you check that picture, you're done with the lab, five minutes. Not quite so much this time. Sorry, sorry. Now, here's the website right here. It's now a mystery shopper website. If y'all don't know, I do mystery shopping on the side, and I need a lot of pictures. So, you know how I said the Animal Planet had five galleries? Yeah. Was that a lot? So I was nice and figured I'd give you a couple more. Oh. You're so sweet to us. I gave you 89. You love us, don't you? I didn't give you 90. <laughs> the good thing is, if you get tired of doing this and would like to go in here and have yourself a pizza... I got one for you. There you go. There's a pizza. <laughs> All right. Um, but go through here. You will see there's a couple galleries. They have varying things in them. This is the Shell Station. And, oh, that's the one Chata Road. Um, so let's discuss how to make this a little bit easier on yourself. The stake tools really need to be in the same directory as the images to work the easiest way, okay? So you can actually run wget, get all 89 directories, because they are in separate directories. If you look, see at the top, this is actually the directory name right there, okay? So that's the directory. You can do that, and you can copy stag tools into each one, or you can actually just take them all and put them in one big huge directory. The file name should not be duplicated anywhere. Because these are all my files, so they shouldn't be duplicated. Okay? So you can actually download them all and just dump all 89 of them into one directory and then run the tool. That's going to be the easiest way. So you can actually run, actually, let me show you this real quick. I did not show this on the other video. I'm going to go to, uh, actually, let's go to here, let's go to. All right, remember how, well, what was the command I ran? Oh, was it steg break? Uh, paste, okay. That was steg break, okay, y'all remember that? See if it works. Okay, but the problem is, if you wanna run this before you go to work, it might take a while. What you can do is you can, act, stop it, you can actually run it, and if you pipe it to results, and then run it, what it's actually doing is saving the results to a text file. Because if you got 2,715 pictures to look at, which you do, that thing's gonna be scrolling for a while, okay? So you can actually put the results into a file, and let me go down to where that is, Tegel Tools, Results, there it goes, it already told you the results. Okay? So kind of nice. You can dump the results to a file. Okay? Um, all I did was I gave it the pipe. You know, I basically told it to dump it to a file. You can do the same thing with stake detect, same thing with stake break. Then look at the file later. You can actually look at the file and the ones that, you know, say you want to run stake detect, run that to a file, then grab the ones that have some good number of asterisks in there, and then move those to a separate folder and only one stake break on those. Because, you know, stake break, even with only those three files, was taking a few minutes. And they were small files. So, 
Everybody understand how this can be a little bit easier? Put them all in one folder. Now, as always, there's something a little bit tricky about this. So you need to, need to work on it. Um, let me find, where is it? It's right here. I'm going to actually read the file. Oh, no, I didn't finish reading it to you. Let me finish reading it to you. Retrieve the images from the website using WGET. It's about 5.5 gigs. Yes. You're not going to be able to do that on an honor image. We There's gave you 10 fun. gigs of free space. My, mine has like 3 gigs oh, yeah, of free space. And I can okay, if you need more space, we can give you more space. It's just, uh, you can always delete all the crap you did for FTK and NK. Oh, no, I, I did that, and I only still only have 4 gig free. It started out only 4 gig free. Didn't we have more free space on our images, Roy? Really? What? Like a, I thought we had more. Yeah, like we did. 25 gig with 29.5 gig. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> but we can very easily give you more space. It's not a big problem. It's not hard. And if we need you to do something, we can always do that. Um, but, oh, okay, I'll tell you. All right, so, get, use WGET. Now, you can do this at home, but it's going to take a while to download six gigs of data. I'm just saying. Okay, so use the tools listed to gain access. You're free to use any other tools, just, you know, that's fine. Um, you are done when you reach the finish line. You will know when you reach the finish line. Don't ask me how to know when you reach the finish line. Trust me, you will know when you reach the finish line. Okay. Can you start a pool of how many uh, emails you did about what <laughs> 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 I'll be like, what was the one last message? I found a picture of a horse. Am I done? Are you at the finish line? No. Then you know you're not done. I mean, it's... Okay. So, there's a quiz in D2L, and there's the questions for them right there. There's only eight of them. Yeah. What I want to know is, how many files had embedded content? Could be one. Could be 2,713. I don't know. Okay. What is the starting seven numbers of the directory that contain the file that led you to the finish line? Okay. In other words, I showed you how to see the directory yeah. name, the seven numbers. The next lab is password breaking. What is the file name of the file that had something embedded in it that could be useful in the next lab? So maybe you're looking for more than one thing now. I don't know. <laughs> what brand of pizza? You can show us the pizza. What is the password used for the embedded files? Obviously, you can give me the password. Now, when solving this lab, it seems one city name is used more than any others. In other words, which city contains more hidden files than any other city? Don't just look at the directories and say, okay, there's five for Choctaw and seven for Oklahoma City. No. The ones that have something embedded in them, what city name is used most? So in other words, there's more than one thing embedded. Okay? I want to know who's sitting at the finish line. What if I get rid of and did you receive any hints during the slab? And if you did, what format were they in? If you did not, then just enter, I don't know, so please just give me a zero for this question. You're still going to get a zero. Because in other words, there's a hint. Before you give hints. What? What do you finish it before you give hints? At? Trust me, you need a hint. If not, you better find the hint. Because then you're going to get that question wrong. So if you don't know the hint, then just put in, I don't know, so please give me a zero for this question. I'll make sure you get a zero. All right, those are the eight questions you got to answer. All right, so pretty easy lab, and there's something you can't see on the picture, but uh, <laughs> Roy, Roy gave me something. It's kind of cool. He found this today. It's a paper-based backup system. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually makes dot matrix backups of your documents. Uh, so you you go on it. there <coughs> and you wow. can scan this back in and reconvert it back to the original document. Isn't that cool? Oh, so I think we need to do a project on this. And there's actually a 5% duplication in here. Or 20%. Whatever. It's something. Okay. Um, let's see. So the question was asking me how long would this lab take? Um, if you were to put everything in a directory, well, then it's going to take how long it takes to download it. I don't know. Then it's going to take, you know, if you put it all in one directory, you literally could start it and come back two days later. Okay. Um, 
do I recommend running steak break? Problem is steak break, as you notice, it had a percentage and it was checking against a dictionary. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big dictionary because it actually could take a long time. And if you're running steak break against every file, even the negative ones, you're kind of wasting time. So maybe run steak detect, look for the ones with a couple asterisks on it, maybe like three, and then you could run steak break on those and you should definitely decrease your time on this project. Detect break. Hint. We found the hint? Was that the hint? No. Oh. <laughs> no, that wasn't the hint. I was just, I'm trying, you know, the <coughs> point of this class, I don't know if you know that, is actually do something. So many, you know, I hear complaints about all the time from this school, other schools, other teachers. We don't do nothing. Trust me, you ain't going to have that problem in this class. Well, I thought IT guys just checked their Facebook. Yeah. Day. No, we do that too. <laughs> <laughs> the point is I want you to be able to do stuff. I mean, using WGET, save the Tulsa Police Department, would you like to be the person sitting there downloading thousands of images of child porn? No. I mean, you actually have to look at each one where you're down. So you can't unsee that stuff. So now you're actually getting to use tools that could really help you in life. Now, will you ever use Steg Detect? Probably not. But you think about it, you could actually make images, upload your checking account information to it, and save it on your Facebook page. No one would ever know to look there. Yeah, and then you just change it. It would be a great storage for your whatever. I'm just on Facebook. Facebook. So, uh, you know, you'll probably, but WGET is actually a very useful tool. So, and there is a lot of other options to go with WGET. I just showed you the dash R, but just go search WGET and it'll tell you all the different switches and how you can do that. So. All right. Roy will look into the amount of space available on your machines. We might, excuse me, we might tell you to, hey, uh, actually we might wipe out your machines. We'll see. Because, you know, I mean, everyone's done with the prior lab anyway. You know, if, because if we do have to do something to increase your disk size, we might wipe it out. If that's true, you might want to save something if you needed something on there. Okay, but we won't do it right away anyway. But uh, all right, any questions? No. Everybody pretty much understand? Yes. I'm not understanding what you mean when you say <laughs> save everything into the into one directory. Okay, that's a good question. Okay, let me show you that. Good question. The question was. What do I mean by saving everything in one directory? Remember when I ran it on the Rose State website here a minute ago? Yeah. I got five directories. But what if I went into, well, hell, that's not a good example. What if I went into that one? So I took that picture and pasted it in here. Then I went into scripts and I took all them and pasted them into here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm copying everything into one folder. So just make one big folder, like the Stego Tools folder, once you run wget and get the website, go into each folder and just copy the files into the Stego Tools directory. Okay? Do not. Do not go to the website, go to each folder, right click and save as. You will be doing that until Christmas. There's 2,713 pictures, I think, and that would really suck. Somebody has done that before. I've been downloading for days. Oh, God, no, no. Okay, don't right-click and save as. That is a total waste of your time. Run wget. It'll put a directory structure for you. Whatever's in there, just copy them into another folder. If you need more help than that, come and see me, and I can show you how to copy in the folders. That's not a problem. So. All right. Like, should we just copy them into the Stego tools? I'd probably make a folder called Stego Tools with the tools in it. Yeah. Copy all or some, at least some of the pictures in there. I mean, you could catch the right directory at the beginning and be done. Well, I mean, but would probably it be faster not. if you were to, you know, chop it up in different chunks? And you could. What he's saying is, could he do it in, could, yeah, you could actually have Stag Detect running three different times. And just have, you know, just chop right, it up. Right, you could have a couple running, like you could actually make three copies of your Stagel Tools directory. Stagel Tools 1, 2, and 3, put some files in each. And run it. So yeah, that that's a good idea too. So I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could do to speed it up. So okay, hell, you could run some on the virtual machine, some on your home machine. Or you can just tell us which one it is. But I don't remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> last time it was easy. It was the front page. I don't remember. Me and Roy literally just say, "And that one, go." I'm like, okay, I don't even remember what that is. So all right, I'm going to stop this recording.